Hello and welcome to The Affairs of Wizards, a Thief 2 fan mission by a Nameless Voice. Uh, it doesn't have a briefing video, so let's read. I was approached by a net man named Havelock, who claimed to represent an eccentric key collector who wishes to remain anonymous. Apparently this unknown noble prides himself in his collection of rare and unusual keys, and there are three in particular that he wishes to add to his collection. I'm generally wary of taking jobs where I don't know the employer or the fence, but the mysterious buyer managed to gain my attention with a generous upfront payment if I accept it. I didn't really have much choice. The rent is due and I haven't had many opportunities lately. I need the money. The three elemental keys that the collector wants are owned by the mages of the Hand Brotherhood. While my new friend didn't know where the keys are right now, he did tell me where I could find out. There is a mansion in town belonging to a certain Lord Belim, who is also a member of the Hand Brotherhood. Havelock is certain that he has a map showing the locations of the, th of the three keys. I simply need to break in, find the map, and make a copy of it so as not to alert the other mages that I'm after the three keys. The building is a fairly small mansion near Stonemarket with only a handful of guards. Havelock has supplied me with a map and a key to the side door. I saw some of the guards and servants leave an hour ago, and it's getting dark, so I guess it's time to begin. Garrett, don't you know better than to say, it's simply this, that, the other. Come on, it's never that simple. Uh, also, amused by uh, this guy called Havelock, claims to represent a key collector. So the, one guy collects keys, and then he has someone who has has a lock. Havelock, his name is. Uh, never mind. Um, not sure that's uh, meant as a joke or not. Uh, anything different in? Okay, just look. Goal. Let's go with hard then. Before you can go after the three keys you've been hired to retrieve, you need to know their locations. Bring to Lord Valim's manor, head to the upper floor to begin your search for the map. Once you find the map, it would be best if Lord Valim doesn't know you're after the keys, so make a copy of it. There's sure to be a few extra trinkets lying around, make sure to grab at least 1800 in loot. Your employer was very specific that no one should be hurt during this job. Don't kill anyone. That's the same on all objective uh, difficulty levels. Once you've completed your other goals, return to the kitchen where you entered. Some waiter. Water arrows. I'm I'm a little uh, discomforted by starting in a brightly lit kitchen. Don't know if anybody's around. Alright, can you No you won't leave? Okay. To all staff, the dumb waiter is not a toy. It's only a matter of time before someone is hurt trying to ride in it. More imp importantly, the server was very displeased when Bartek climbed out of the thing in his private quarters. To this end, the dumbwaiter will be locked when not in use, and I will be looking after the key myself. Cook Duma. Take the cheese. Alright. Take the spices. Valuable. I'll take the good plates as well, why not? Alright, so I'm not going to be able to pick this lock, right? Yeah. Hello, someone dropped a goblet down there. Oh, right, that's, so that's the way out to the basement. I guess the way that it came in is supposed to be through that door. Oh, we have a map of the place, right? Kitchen... Yeah, we enter by the machine room. Well, there's only the guard room down here. But you should probably check it out. Guards sometimes have a little money. Is he just standing there watching the front door? Does he turn around? Seems like maybe not. Try not to let him. Try not to let him to our presence. Hello. Is he sleeping? Yeah. Day one. I am going to start writing in a diary to give myself something to do on these long shifts. Day three. This job is boring. There's never any trouble. I guess no one wants to tangle with this sir. Uh... I know. I wouldn't. He always seems to think three steps ahead, and his magic scares me. Day 5. Today I was posted to the gallery and had to stand around in there all day. 
It was interesting because I got to look at all the pretty art while I was there. I especially liked the ornate short sword. I wish I could afford a sword like that. Day 7. Aleph told me how he once worked for a nobleman in a small mansion in the city. And one day a burglar tried to walk right in the front door, bold as you like. The taffer almost convinced the servants that he was supposed to be there, but Aleph saw right through him and caught him. I wish something like that would happen here. Day 8. I have asked to be posted by the front door, and the captain was more than eager to let me stand there all day for some reason. He must really like me. I'm really looking forward to watching it in case I get to catch an intruder. Day 9. I love my new post. It is so much fun getting to watch the door and wait for someone to try and break in. I'm sure that someone will come any day now. Day 17. Starting to get bored now. Worse, I lost my ring last night and I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if one of the boys hit it as a prank. Hmm, a missing ring, huh? Stopping to be on top of the fireplace. Careful, carrot. Uh, barrel was lax. Lacking collision there. Which happens all too easily with those barrels. Basically, the barrels have a very large hitbox, much larger than the model uh, by default would suggest. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay, you're not the one. Not the one who's, uh... Who's guarding the uh, front door? Oh, you're just warming yourself by the fire, okay. Um, yeah, the barrels have a very large hitbox, and if you... If any part of that hitbox is inside the wall, then the collision is entirely disabled. Uh, there is a warning message that you get about it, but it's easy to, easy to overlook. Uh, can you close doors behind yourself? Okay. Did I do this one? Yeah. Arrows. Bottles. Trap door. Doesn't go anywhere. Money. Where would the ring be hidden? I mean, not necessarily in here, right? Also, maybe he just dropped it on the floor. Let's see anything that suggests a ring is hidden in here. So the guard who wanders in here, how far away is he? Because... I guess I would hear him. He doesn't look like he just dropped the ring on the floor. Alright, he's up there. Doesn't sound like he's coming this direction. Let's go up. Oh, shit. <coughs> yeah, we're coming down the stairs already. Oh, I hope he's not too observant. Actually see me. Hey, who are you? Oh shit, he did see me. 
Well, this is good. Do I have a flash bomb? I do not. Um. <sighs> well. It's not dark enough. Ow. Moves the bodies. Moves the evidence. Okay, someone comes searching in here. Uh, that was that was very professionally done. I'm not sure who saw me. I don't think it was the guy in this room, but maybe it was. But once one saw me, quiet down. Vince. I've got names. Jacob. Once one of them saw me, the uh, kind of the, his yell basically alerted all the rest. So, well, you know what? I got all that food. It's probably worth chewing on some of them, right? Might get a hit point or two or one. Well, didn't need the healing potion. All right. Day forty-three. A second or night goblet disappeared today. I sent it up so that somebody told me that he ne that it never got there. I heard some clattering as it went up the dumbway, so I thought I might have put it too close to the edge and it might have fallen out in the mess hall. But I had a hunt around on the floor there and couldn't find it anywhere. That's the second ornate goblet that's disappeared this month. I'll have to watch out before someone accuses me of stealing the things. Day 44. I can't sleep. The men are gambling and drinking right below my head again. I don't know why the sir allows it. He should be more strict with them. One baby bike jumping over a fence. Two baby bikes jumping over a fence. Three baby bikes jumping over a fence. This would probably work better if I closed my eyes and imagined it rather than writing it down. Yes, I imagine it would. Day 45. The sir is sending me and Doma out to Newmarket to get supplies, and he's given us extra gold to sleep in a proper inn for the night. We still have most of the things that he wants us to buy, which is strange. Maybe he knows that something will happen soon to make the supplies more expensive and wants to stock up now. Or... I almost wonder if the sir just wants to get us out of the house for a day and a night for some reason. I'd better pack my bag. We'll leave in half an hour. Don't wait a key, alright. See, enough time passes while I'm, uh... Hmm, hmm. Suspicious. I mean, not necessarily suspicious. It could just be, uh... That it wasn't... That it doesn't have any, uh, logic for being broken. Alright, well, we have the key, we might as well... <sighs> go for a ride. Also, is it possible that he... Is that the goblet that we fell down that we found down on the floor there, or is it possible that one fell down under the dumbwaiter? Yes. There it is. Alright, well why don't we get straight up to the guy's private quarters then? He's looking right at us. He's just going to stand there. I feel like he's just going to stand there. Alright, maybe we should not start it. Anyway, that should have given the guards here a chance to calm down. Why 
I don't know which guards there are actually. Can't see anyone patrolling anymore. I think that's the guy who's just guarding the front door, right? Yeah. Okay, well maybe the patrollers are out of the picture. Noisy. Certainly less noisy than uh, the floor. Tapestries. They're basically banners. Okay, they don't break. I wonder where that guy's ring could be. First floor, yeah, servants, main hall. And then up. Heavily guarded up here, I see two guards. Oh, what's up with these stairs? Why am I falling down the stairs? Is this an object? With a slanted hitbox. That's not great. <laughs> yeah, there are two guards there just watching the staircase. So I kind of suggest I need to... Uh, take the dumbwaiter, but the guy is just standing there at the dumbwaiter just, just watching it. Or I could try distracting the guards again. I mean, it worked before, right? He's just, he's just standing there. Hmm. Don't have a noisemaker. Do you have a broadhead? Oh, we could distract this one guy more easily, right? No, I don't think so. Oops, too far. I'm in, I'm in the middle. How do I get past these fellas without being seen? Well, maybe I'll try creeping up here in the corner. Right, because it's an object, I can't actually stand on it and use a rope at the same time. Oh, I don't have a rope arrow. Is the problem. Hey, there's someone here! Get over here! Well, I think we're gonna add them to the pile. Oh shit, there's three of them. This is not good. Uh, this is not good at all. Oh, what shit, this is not the uh, dumb way to hear. Ow! Yeah, that's... Should do. I should lead him down here. Let's have my other human. Ow! We'll show him not to mess with us. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. Oh, 
Well, that didn't really work, did it? Didn't really work at all. Alright, what I'm going to do... I don't know how I'm supposed to manage that without flash bombs. Like, one place, there's two guys watching me. There's people watching me from both directions. It's ridiculous. Down for flat. Did you just hit the chandelier? Try that again. Yeah, these stairs are really weird. It's just slide down though, I don't get it. You know, also how I managed to not knock him out. It's a bit inept of me. Edmund. Oh, there's more money here I had missed. Okay. Bartek. Got some floating issues, okay. He levitates. So, what do I do? Do I go upstairs where the guy's looking me in the face or I come fight these two? Well, it's only two now. If I make sure I go the right direction. It's not really much darker, is it? I can probably do the same thing. Get them, get them, get them on, on the back of the head there. Head head. Over here. Got a seat here. If it's only two, two I can maybe manage. Ah. Maybe. They're pretty quick, actually. leaving all the guards in the servants' beds, but, you know. Rico goes there. And you... This will take you to the guards' quarters, Alan. Okay, well, I'm mostly dead. But, you know, now I can see if he just dropped the key here, but... The ring here, but I don't think he did. Oh, yes, he did. Cheap brass ring, okay. <laughs> Not actually valuable. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so now I can go in this way, where hopefully the guy isn't just staring at the front door. But there's also a library. Just didn't realise. I'm not keeping looking after the books very well, are they? Hmm. Diagram of a spiral staircase. How exciting. Alright, now we're doing for loot. Steal at least 1800 or 1200. It's gotta be more valuable, so we are 13. Hmm. Any secrets in the library? I honestly don't know. Oh! I can't go in this way, I have to go up to Dumbwaiter. Where the guy is, what, just waiting for me? 
That seems all very suspicious. Okay, so all that buffer with the guards was not necessary. It was in fact wasteful. Wasteful kerfuffle. I thought I saw something in the bookshelf there, but no. I mean, there might be some valuable books, but it's so hard to tell. Oh, there's a bottle of wine. I guess looking over the bookshelf is is at least worth it. Fourteen hundred. All right, well, to the dumbwaiter it is then, I suppose, and see what's going to happen when we come out, because we're going to have to come out with the guy staring us in the face. Um, I see the confusion in your eyes. You must understand that it was I who hired you to rob my own home. If you will please follow me. You are here because I need you to obtain three items for me. Yeah, three keys. The items in question are keys that have been secured in remote locations by my brethren. Yeah, okay, and? What, what these keys open is not your concern. Mm hmm. But. I have hired you. <laughs> that I am not suspected as I myself hold the fourth key. Right, yep. Oh dear. Reaching, reaching the key will not be <laughs> a problem for you. <laughs> oh. Right, there's more than just a mansion here. Is that your coffin? Ah, healing. Good. You need only step through. Oh, I see. This is what the four keys are for. <laughs> right. I see. I mean, you know, I'm not sure this is what I signed up for. Yeah, about that. Take that. Change of plans. It seems that your employer is Lord William himself, and he has set up a web of portals to help you reach the keys quickly. Enter each portal and bring him all three keys. The fire, the water, and the earth key. Okay. Yeah, it's a little awkward having, uh... Right, so he's got a secret door behind a secret door. You know, that's that's paranoia if I ever had it. Alright. Water, earth, and fire, I suppose. Crates. Lava. Let's go crates. Just a boat. Apples. Ten apples, nice. Now we only have one hit point from ten apples. Maybe not so nice. Oh, 
Okay, loop hole is not going to be too hard then. And everything else that's going on. Right, we're going to need a key for that, but we can reach through and, and snag a couple of uh, water arrows at least. There we go. No room to maneuver in here. Yeah. Mm. I think. Oh, dropping him all the way down there would be a bad idea, given that. Jane Gomez. You can just rest there. Given there's no room to maneuver, if I did alert people, I would be in a pretty bad position. I'd probably have to start quick loading, and I don't want to do that, so we'll just. Turn it all or what? <sighs> Chip's hold key, okay. Maybe he does turn? Yeah, okay, he does. A little. What's this note say? Gomez and Hagen are getting restless for us to start divvying up the loot, but I ain't gonna let them get their hands on it until the captain gets back. I've locked the hole in the hold and I'll be keeping the key with me on my belt. I just hope the captain manages to find the key for that box we swept from those mages. We all be wanting to know what's inside there. <coughs> right, I can't go any up on deck. Let's go down into the hold then. There's an awful lot of water in your bilges, man. Not in your bilges, it's in your bloody hold. It's... Water level's rather too high, I must say. Lucky this stuff isn't damaged by water, otherwise we'd be in a lot of trouble. Can I pick this lock? I can, that's good. Okay, one of three done. Hello, somebody trying to hide some more loot there? Keep the portion just for themselves. Alright, that was the water key. I was thinking that I wasn't expecting it to be water. Okay, let's go this way. We'll do the lava last of all, because it's probably the most deadly. <clears throat> we don't have maps of this area, do we? Oh, there's a third floor? Oh, right, we went up to the third floor, that's right. Light reveals a shadow to us. Balance is uneven here. I see disharmony. May we 
still guide you on your journey, fallen one. Were you guys not hostile to me? I don't know. Or were you just you? Oh, you were commenting on the uh, body. Sounds like a name. Hasadoki. Iraq. Alzine. I suppose it might have been possible to sneak around them, but. And Akrod. Right. They have names, but do they have loot? Well, much more important. Mm, apparently not. Mages. Okay. Well, that one was pretty easy. I suppose if I hadn't been so quick on the blackjack, it uh, might not have been, but... Fire arrows. Well, we might need those. I need to just notice there's runes all over this door. Hmm. Hmm. Carrot, you're saying? Bit of a jump, isn't it? Do I think I can make that? I'm not even sure I can make that. My little hand. As you say, I can mantle up on top of this, but maybe I can't even do that. Supposed to survive. Right, maybe I can make this jump. Well, that's gonna be difficult. Yeah! Hmm, is this not the right approach? Okay, I can just barely make that. Maybe that is the right approach. It's honestly very hard to say. Barracks. Upstairs? I think I might have gone upstairs, okay. That's gonna be a problem for me. Yeah, the light's gone on up there. As a member of the, uh, Barrack Preservation Society, I am duty bound not to harm it unless I have no other choice. What's the matter of having another choice? I should have evaded it. For the present. So, is it looking for me still? Maybe it is, yeah. Well, a couple of other rooms out there I'm interested in, so... And these lost city lights. Yeah, 
Here it comes again. I felt sure it was going to see me there. Guess it's dark enough. Ah, oh, the light in this room is broken. Oh, I see, I should have ducked in here. The living flame respects those who honor it by making a willing sacrifice to show their dedication. Precious goods are given up to the flame by placing them into the sacred brazier that it occupies. Flawless gemstones, and in particular red rubies, are often the best choice for sacrifice. That is relevant to me, I'm sure. Living flame, huh? We probably have to go up the ladder, but before we do that. Since the death of Batarak, the trembling of the earth has become much stronger and more frequent. We keep telling the people that it is merely the earth grieving for its fallen emperor, yet I'm certain there is something much larger at stake here. I have decided I must consult with the living flame to discover what we have done to anger the earth. I know that the other priests would not approve, so I will have to act in secret to make sure that they do not find out. I have already prepared the sacred scroll that will be needed to perform the summoning. I simply need to slip away to the ancient flame temple without being noticed, and then allow the scroll to burn in the sacred brazier there. In case something goes wrong and someone finds this note, understand that I did what I saw as being necessary to protect Karatin. Okay, let's go. Oh right, there's nothing else here. Right, it's not upstairs. Oh, it's not the right time. Right, they both come up here. You notice this one is just muttering and grumbling a lot more than the other one. That one's fine, that one's peaceful, it doesn't even, it doesn't even know we're here. This one is the one that saw us and got upset and is still still upset. Ah. That's the sacred scroll of flame. Right, but wasn't the other thing we say that we read say that we have to give up precious goods? Flawless gemstones and red rubies. Not sacred scrolls of flame, right? It's it's a little it doesn't say anything about putting scrolls in there. I don't know, I'm a little uncertain about whether that'll work. I mean, it didn't save Karatin, did it? We've got... I'm sure there's another one on this floor. Well, not close. I guess it's a barrack. Oh, I'm hearing this one. Right, right, right. Oh, hello. Another gemstone. That was strange hearing this one all the way through around there, but I guess that's the way it works out sometimes. Is this really what I need? The Sacred Scroll of Flame? Hmm. What about the cheap brass ring? No, it doesn't count. Ouch. 
to hot. Okay. Living flame. I don't have any more healing, do I? Okay, well, down we go, back to the portal. I can't even get down there, so that'd be a quick way back. Alright, well, we can let the boat see us, it doesn't matter. I do kind of wonder if he would have said anything else. Hmm. I'm going, just for the sake of experiment, a quick load there. I see you just see. He says anything else before I, um. bought him. So my my instinct was was doing it to do what was what I thought was necessary was in fact the right instinct, but something very weird about that ladder. I think it doesn't go high enough. Oh, is he just hanging out there now? No. Yes. Maybe he heard something. Maybe he's just waiting for me. Oh, he must have heard the, the battle against the, the flame. I see. So he's, I think he's back to patrolling now. Let's just run for it. <coughs> Ow! Maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all. I might need these hit points. Yeah, I'm gonna need to be able to make that jump without Oryx getting in my face, right? Okay, fair enough. Patience, patience, carrot. It's a difficult skill for a thief. I can't drop the scroll, okay. Oh, he saw me, didn't he? He turned around for some reason. Barrack Preservation Society membership is at stake. I'm tempted to go knock him on the head. now, aren't they? And this guy comes up here and I need to follow him back down. So I hope this guy that's on this floor has good timing, conducive to that. Timing seems pretty good. No, oh, I don't want to be in here at all. Whoops. My mistake. I guess I'll just wait till he goes upstairs again.
are we doing loot wise? 2800. Our goal is what? 1800. Right, okay. So 2800 was maybe close to the expert loot goal. But now, I don't remember. Okay, so now, can I jump over here? Yes, okay, and then I can probably make that jump a little easier. Ah! Or not. Hmm. Maybe this jump is the easy one? Ah! Not if you don't jump, Garrett. Garrett, that thing about jumping, you know, for jumping to work, you've got to actually jump. Uh, I feel like maybe this ledge is just too narrow for me to probably jump. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> uh, or maybe, if the floor is lava, maybe I can cool it down. No. Jump far enough if it goes straight. Yeah! Let's go back round and do the other jump again. The fact that it's instant death is, is problematic. Let's try this one. Yeah! Nope. Yeah! Wow. Christ. Yeah! This is, this is, this is not the best yeah! thief gameplay. Yeah! Did somebody, I don't understand how. Yeah! I don't understand how you're supposed to be able to do this. Let's try this one again. There's a tiny sliver of brush that sticks out, and if I can land on that yeah! instead of the lava, I think I'll make it. Yeah! Yeah! <sighs> there we go. God, that was fiddly. And not in a good, fun, interesting way either. Okay. Bad things are going to happen now, right? We've got this guy three dangerous magical keys. Where we going to go? Talk to him, I guess. Successful in finding all three keys. Of course. There remains but one more thing that must be done. No, no one knows that I was not also the victim of this robbery. Save for one. Right, you want to double cross me? I cannot allow you to leave this. Yeah, this job just keeps getting better. Time to cut your losses and just get out of here. Return to the kitchen where you entered. But what about the keys? From the inevitable. Bye. Right. 
That's what I was trying to do. Get two candles with one. I'm not going to be able to knock him out, though, am I? You cannot run from your fate. Didn't manage to get both of those. So he's got a key, right? Cut my losses. Can I find his key? Surely that's the ultimate ending here. Oh, yeah, his key's probably in here, right? Nope, just some lot money, okay. Oh, there's, there's a couple more candles. To hide in the shadows is to reveal your fear, intruder. Yeah, and if I can balance attack hammer on my head, I can head off my foes with a balanced attack. So where does he hide his key? Is he evidence belt? You cannot no. escape the inevitable. Whoa, that's a nice magic trick. Right, so he just saw me through the uh, door there, I guess. <sighs> so where's he hiding this other key? He's got to be hiding it somewhere, right? I mean, it says it's cut out losses, but really... Really, Garrett is better at meddling than that. It's not behind the banner. And I can see how he likes to fire out of the face. Beleem. <laughs> it's not a fire mage. She's pretty weak to fire arrows. Okay, but... It's not going to help me find his key, is it? <laughs> Although, you know, maybe he doesn't have... Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm on the wrong track here. I feel like I'm going for a bonus objective, right? But maybe, maybe not. I still got more of his private quarters we haven't searched. Now we can open this door. Okay. Maybe it's in the library. Oh, he has a secret around the fireplace. <sighs> Doesn't seem to be the case. If I was hiding an arcane magic key, where would I hide it? Somewhere where Garrett could easily find it so he wouldn't have to spend a very long time searching the whole level. I mean, I might just cut my losses and go. That's probably the thing that needs to be done just now. Like I said, I don't even know if there's another objective. It's just like... It's just feels too... possible. Yeah, I searched all these, right? Hmm...
think I may have to give it up as a lost cause. Because I need to use the bathroom. Okay, I will not wait for that. I guess we're heading out. And we will never know what the mage was hiding in that strange casket. What a shame. <laughs> Zero secrets out of one. That is, there is a secret there. It is hidden somewhere. I don't know where. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to see the end. I might go back and look it up. Uh, but for the moment, that's it. Okay, I just couldn't let it go. So, a couple of things. Uh, you know, I commented on how the staircase is weird and how I kind of would slide back down them, and it's like, why are they objects? It's also noticeable that, like, especially in the Burrick area, I mean, I guess we can go back there. No, that means jumping over the fire. Um, it may be true in the other areas. Like, certainly the barrack area, all the objects were, um, like, the, there's lots of, lots of, uh, we can avoid the lava pool we have to jump over, right? All these obstacles, right? These are, these are clearly objects and not, not brushes, which is a little weird, especially for things that you climb over. Um, and that's probably made the jumping harder. And even these bits of lava like this, that's why I, have, I kind of got stuck on this when I first approached it. Um, these are all objects. They're not, they're not so brushwork. Which I thought was really weird, right? Because uh, it's not usually done that way. And so a bit of context I didn't realize is that this mission was originally made for 10th anniversary contest which um, required the mission to be built within a 64 by 64 by 64 cube which is not very big for example you go from that wall over there to this wall over here that's the maximum width of the mission the mission is not allowed to be bigger than that so if you go if you were going into this mission you know playing it for the contest You'd be immediately struck by how you've got this multi-story, uh, you know, three-story uh, building here that takes up the entirety of the space, right? You can see from one side to the other of the 64 there, and if I open this door, sorry, four-story building, that's the other side. We got four floors. This 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 four-story building. And it's four floors, takes up the entirety of the space available, allowed in the competition. So how, you might ask, then, does it have you teleporting into all these other zones as well? Right, we go through the thing. We teleport in here. I mean, this is this one's only a single room, so you know you might say, well, maybe this is just squeezed in some part you didn't notice. But uh, I want to get back to the barrack bit. Actually, I, I will get back to the barrack bit because I learned something else uh, from the thread while looking for for a hint. Is that uh, this is breakable, which I didn't realize. Or maybe not with maybe not with arrows. Maybe maybe fire arrows. Yeah. Okay. So that's supposed to be the way across. Uh, that would never have occurred to me. But that's a lot easier than making that terrible jump. Okay. Oh, that worked the barracks up. But this area, right? This whole area is... Is big enough to be... Uh, there's multiple rooms in itself, right? We've already way bigger than than we're allowed to be, in, you know, if you think about the space available. Um, this is also multiple floors. Also explains why that ladder, why, why mantling off that ladder doesn't work very well, I guess. So, how's it done? Um, 
And the answer, which I found out, you know, I discovered all this, I looked all this up because I opened up the thing in, in Dromit to see what was going on with uh, the missing key that I couldn't find. And, um, let's just pause here. In Dromit, this place is all fits within the 64 by 64 by 64 cube. Let me just hide a little uh, extra stuff that's unnecessary here. I turn off objects, lights, um, and room brushes. That's just the brushwork. All fits within the allowable space. The objects is packed full of objects. And the answer is, well, you can see here, we've got, uh, let's just pull some, uh, some of this. We got one of the guards. Well, actually, that's a thief. I don't know what he's doing. Um, we've got the barracks. We've got the holes for the staircases. We've got the doors. We've got lots of objects here, but there's going to be there's more objects. This room, which was the servants' room, is also the same as the barrack room. Um, that you with, with the crawl space, right? And this is where the ladder is. The dumb way through the same corner with the ladder that we climb up. And we come through this passage. And this is the big long room with all the pillars. And the fireman. You can actually see the fireman right here. You can see the outline of him in red. Basically, this entire mission is built on this tiny little blueprint of brushwork. And everything else is teleported in and out of place. Out into the void. Or, or, or I don't know, maybe even... I don't know where to, maybe even moved out of existence. But uh, just reusing the entire mission, reskinning, you know, retexturing the walls, possibly. Um, because you can you can change the tech you can change the textures with a thing called a window shade object. And um, and so making well, I was gonna say four different zones. It's really two and two, two different zones plus two small ones, right? The ship was two small areas, it was maybe like uh, a quarter of the space, I guess. I don't know which. Um, and the major room was clearly just two rooms, it was a much smaller part. That looks like the major room there, actually, given that the shape of that brushwork, but I don't know. Oh no, that's the front entrance. It might be the same room. So uh, basically, just by by. Carefully constructing this whole place and teleporting lots of stuff in and out based on scripting has managed to make uh, a very impressive <laughs> technical trick, which of course is what you expect from Nameless Voice. Um, like me, he's very big on the technical stuff. However, okay, back to the game. So let's go back to the portal. Trying to avoid these barracks. Or at least trying to avoid their breath. Um, so yeah, this is the dumb way to show us here, I'm pretty sure. That also is partly, more, I guess, why we've got visibility issues. Alright, bye-bye, guys. We make that jump pretty easily. This jump should not be too hard. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's way easier than when I was dying 20 times. Okay. Right. So, and thanks to my cheating in Dromed, I did find out where the key is hidden here. I don't know whether I could have opened this before and just didn't see it. I thought I searched the library reasonably thoroughly. But, um... Down on one of these bookcases. Right? It, I would thought I would have seen that. Because I was looking around for loot. and But maybe, maybe you have to be pretty close to it. You have to be reasonably close. Maybe I wasn't close enough. I don't know. Maybe I couldn't do it before. I'm not sure. Secret book. Lose the statue. We've got some more loot. We've got... I can't pick up the air key. Let's read the book. Everything went according to plan. The Hand Brotherhood are not yet even aware that the chest is missing. 
The magical defenses of the tower were as weak and as easily overcome as I had expected. Those fools even had a number of commons guarding it, as if swords and bows could be expected to offer any protection from a mage. For all their patrolling and lookouts, they never even caught sight of me as I soared down from the sky on wings of air. I would have enjoyed conjuring a hurricane to blow them away like the dried twigs they were, but revealing myself would have ruined everything. Time is off the essence now. I must bring the remainder of my plan into effect. I have made contact with the thief via a number of intermediaries. The Hand Brotherhood should have a hard time tracing them back to me, but in order to make it an impossibility, I will need to remove a link of the chain. The aged Valnes would make a good target, but I will need to wait until the job is completed before I destroy him. The ruse must be perfect, so I have invented a fictitious story of a map revealing the locations of three keys that a rich collector wishes to have stolen, and given the thief instructions to break into my home to obtain this map. Believing this to be an ordinary robbery, I am certain that the thief will take the opportunity to steal other items of value from my home, as well as leaving other solid evidence of this burglary for when the Hand Brotherhood comes to investigate the situation. I must remember to hide this diary and the air key very thoroughly to make sure that the thief does not accidentally stumble upon them. While no thief would be capable of reading this ancient language that I use in my diary, it would be inconvenient to lose it. If everything goes according to the plan, I, have all f I will have all four keys by tomorrow night, and I will finally be able to open the chest and take what has been rightfully mine these long years. Curse Archmage Borealian for his meddling on that day, when he insisted we secure it away and divide the keys amongst the towers. What did he say on that day? To keep us safe from its power, if my memory serves. The old fool saw that he didn't have the strength to use it, and couldn't bear to see another mage become more powerful than him through it. But I digress. In any event, the thief's deception should buy me enough time to learn how to break the enchantments upon it. By the time the Brotherhood even begins to suspect me, it will be too late, and I will be unstoppable. Of course, the thief will also know the truth of the situation, and they could theoretically manage to track him down and extract the information from him, but there will be plenty of time to rectify that issue permanently once I have all four keys. I will send the servants on a day-long errand tomorrow to make sure that they keep out of the way and do not interfere with my plans. No thief would be capable of reading this ancient language. Well, you didn't bank on a thief who'd been trained by the keepers now, did you? New objectives. Take his air key. He obviously isn't planning to pay you, so steal whatever is inside the container that the four keys open instead. Ah. Maybe I could have done this before... Hmm. Altern as an alternative to... Um going back to see him. Maybe I could have found this earlier. Interesting. Alright, well, let's... He's dead, so let's take what is in the chest. Hand Brotherhood will find these secret doors open. They will learn the truth, which we are about to learn now. What is it? A little container or something? Mysterious object. Well, I'm sure the Hand Brotherhood will pay a lot to get it, right? Yeah, let's, let's call that call that done. You know what? Time for a victory ride. Still didn't find the secret. Did that not count as a secret? Okay. Fair enough, there's a secret I didn't find. I will I will deal with that. Uh, I will do one more little thing here. Uh, go back to my quick set. Uh, let's run up to the portals here. So um This deep brass ring. Let's drop it here by the dumb waiter. So one of the uh, things that uh, was mentioned in the thread is that that deep brass ring is. I don't know whether it's an intentional oversight or. 
or just an accident or left that way on you know left that way on purpose but that cheap brass ring you know I might have to knock these guys out just so Maybe I can't actually. Not if you see me. Uh, when you teleport between the different zones, that ring is just not get included. Yeah. So here it is. That's was where the dumbwaiter was. I dropped it to the front of the dumbwaiter. And it's here. Um, so you can, uh, as I said, you can, you can by, by the fact that the, the ring does not get uh, uh, spawned in or out or whatever it is, teleported around. You can use it to uh, reveal the truth of the uh, of how the mission's been set up. Alright, let's leave the barracks on the lava for the last time. Similarly, we can find out which room the Majors was, right? If we're going to the Majors one. Which is this portal. Let's drop it on the table here, right? Just see it in the middle there. Now if we go back through into the house, there's going to be a room where that ring is bloody in midair. Now if it's this room, we might not be able to see it in the thing. Oops. Careful guy, don't get squashed accidentally. So I don't know which room was the major room, but if there's a ring floating in midair, we will have identified it. I think it's this one. Doesn't seem to be. So yeah, uh, I, I'm very impressed with the amount of work there. <laughs> uh, I'm always a big fan of, of like uh, using contest limits against themselves, right? It's like, well, you've only got a limited space. There it is. Is that it? No. I thought I saw it, but it was just the thing on the dumbwaiter. I mean, it might be floating in midair in the table and I wouldn't see it, but... Not gonna be in here. That's an actual wall. So it must be the lower floor. Or it might have fallen to the ground, I don't know, actually. No, there it is. There it is! So that's where the Major's room was. This room here. Okay. That cheap brass ring turns out to be surprisingly magical. Alright. Thanks for watching. I'll see you here for the next mission.